watch us play live on twitch.tv slash mockdown. You guys know what? Let me finally show you how you rat. Explaining the build that you want to use, explaining the abilities that you want to use, explaining why you want to use them. I feel like this is the most important part. And explaining why I feel like every single new player should try this. Let me address the elephant in the room. Why did I just say that every single new player should try this? Think about it. In any other type of PvP environment, you're either getting killed or trying as hard as you can to kill people. As a new player, more often than not, you're getting killed. What are you learning out of those kills? You're going there, you're trying to find somebody, maybe you mess up some of your abilities, maybe you don't have the right abilities on, because honestly, you're a new player and you just get killed. And because you're a new player, because you're such a new player, you don't learn anything out of it. Well, what if there would be a way to go into a PvP environment to go and actually have fun in PvP while not risking that much and most importantly while gaining the most knowledge that you can get. It's not knowledge that applies everywhere but at the same time it is knowledge that applies everywhere. Let me explain. Ratting is the art, I should call it at this point, to be honest, of stealing people's belongings. Basically, you can rat in solo dungeons, you can rat in corrupted dungeons, you can rat in the mists, you can rat everywhere you want to. Today, I'm going to be focusing on the mists ratting, basically. Basically, the idea is that you want to go and try to get as much loot as you can while surviving. You do not want to kill uh, people, like you don't want to take fair fights. You want to take unfair fights. You see somebody with like 12 HP, you dismount right next to him and you kill him. You see two people fighting, you just lurk nearby waiting for somebody to get low, go there, execute, loot. That's the idea behind being a rat. Like you want to be basically the guy that just ruins the fun for everybody else but in terms that's gonna make you have a lot of fun so your build does not need to have high damage does not need to have burst damage does not need to have upron damage like the damage is not that important what you need however is mobility everybody focuses on dealing damage everybody focuses on dealing range damage of catching people of dismounting people you need to focus on running away from people and to run away from people one of the best builds that i had the most success with guys is this one right here let me show showcase it a little bit it goes like this mage cow with the second spell first passive assassin jacket third spell first passive then you want to have soldier boots i would say i've seen a lot of people use uh, minor work boots i don't like minor work boots personally they're very strong if you use them right but if you mess up you're just dead minor work boots give you kind of like the top speed that you get from one the last all the way like starting till the second you press the ability for the next 10 seconds or something like that so it's a it's a giant speed boost much better than this but it also silences you so if people manage to mount up right next to you or if somebody manages to purge your run or something like that you are just left there defenseless you cannot even auto attack those are also very useful for actually chasing people if you want to run for somebody not from somebody with wanderlust you can do that with minor work boots you cannot because the silence works both ways you cannot defend yourself but you cannot attack your opponent either then you want to have blood letter this is by far the best weapon with the second q second w first passive and as you start to notice right now this does not require spec i think you have the second w straight up oh no you get it at level three okay you need to farm till level three guys that's uh i hope that's not too much of a hustle then you want to have the mist color or torch if you want to go cheaper but this is cheap enough in my opinion you want to have a normal keep then you want to have poison potions and if you want to go a little bit more expensive you could also bring some invis spots in your inventory you want to have cabbage soup in case you find a good mob and beef stew now the idea behind ratting is that you do not want to focus on taking fair fights now what does that mean that means that let's say if you see a player and his full hp dismounting right next to you provoking you you do not want to take that fight however if there's two 8.3 people fighting you might want to lurk around till somebody gets low in which case you want to go execute bop everybody loot the corpse go invisible if you need to loot the corpse some more then run in this situation that i just described right here usually invis pots are much better but are also much more expensive poison pots are great for catching that 8.3 dude that finally managed to escape even though he has like 10 hp left because let's say he used his uh, undead cape the people that he was fighting lost him but you as a fortunate rat just stumbled upon him in which case you want to dismount throw your poison and just go to town on that guy until he mounts up because he is gonna mount up but that's basically the idea i would say right now the most useful thing the most useful information that i could give you is explaining when and why and how you want to use your abilities let me start with the easiest ones first the q this is your main spam you use this either to do damage let's say you saw somebody with 50 percent hp you feel like you could take that unfair fight 
the Q is your main damage source. On the other hand, your Q is also probably one of the main mobilities that you have besides, like after you wasted everything, the Q is what you use to get away. The Q, oh, I guess talking about getting away, talking about getting away. Do you have uh, what you need? You do not. Okay, come on. Can we pull this off? Can we pull this off? Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Oh, no, we cannot. Oh, no, we can. Oh, no, we can. Talking about getting away. Talking about getting away, guys. Oh, wait. That mob kind of messed us. Boom. Talking about getting away. That was very close. Though. That was very close. As you can see, if you play your cards right, and I did not play my cards very right. If I had played my cards right, I should have used my uh, invisibility after I activate my boots. That would have been a great play. But all I'm saying is that that was an 8.3 dude. I am running 5.1. You can easily skip. That's a one shot build. That's a dead givers. That give us go there and just take all of your HP away. If you can survive that, you can survive anything. The biggest problem, to be honest, with this build are curse staffs. Curse staffs are very strong, especially the one-handed curse staffs. But as I've discovered today, also the demonic staff. So be aware of curse staffs or of any build that leaves you with huge dot damage, such as the bear boss. The bear boss will, will also be um, pretty hard to run from, basically. But as you can see, like... Yeah, can I say anything more than this? I guess let me go back to the ability. So the Q is used to getting away or for attacking. The W, same thing. You want to use this either to get away or for the little damage boost that you get for dashing. So let's say you see an 8.3 dude that's pretty low. You can either A, run from him if he's doing a lot of damage to you or run for him by using this combo right here. Let's say he's at like 10% HP, you W, then you E towards him. That covers a lot of ground and you also have a boost in damage because you've also used your W. Then you want to have your invisibility. When do you use your invisibility? Well, your invisibility you want to use either when you want to get away, like normally, or you might want to use your invisibility whenever, let's say there's a chest, or not a chest, a turbulent wisp, like one of those wisps that are weakened and you need to rescue. You go in, you go invisible, let's say there's like three seconds left, you go invisible on the wisp, let's say this is it, you go invisible, People cannot target you because most people have single target damage. And whenever the Wisp is out, you just D, uh, take it, run. And when you're running, this is the run rotation. Though you can activate the spells in any order whatsoever. There's two variants. Basically, there's the stealthed version and the upfront version. The stealthed version goes like this. You want to F, stealth, wait a second, then dash and run with full speed up ahead. This is a little bit riskier in my opinion because yes, you are stealthed, you do have an advantage because nobody sees you in which way you're gonna be running, but at the same time from the second you start popping your abilities, people will notice which way you ran to. So uh, it is a little bit of an advantage because people cannot really root you. This is the biggest weakness of Wanderlust. At the first uh, few seconds, it can be very easily purgeable. So by pairing it with an invisibility, people will have a little bit of a harder time purging you, but you won't run as far away. Uh, so that that's a, a double-edged sword. If you want to go full invis, then you want to use invis spots. In which case, you just pop your F and pop your invis spot and just go to town. Always make sure to take some distance at first. Like whenever, whenever you use your F, this is the second part of your rotation. Whenever you use your F, regardless of invisibility or not, in the first few seconds, you always want to make sure to get as far away from your opponent as possible so they cannot purge you. And you do that by using your W and your E. Yes, you want to use your E in a defensive a kind of a getty away so you want to make sure that you use your e not only to execute the low uh, hp persons but also to get away and save your life uh, that's basically the whole idea of this build the bob i showed you where you want to use sometimes if you want to take a fight depending on how high ip you go uh if it's a midi person uh, I, I mean to be honest regardless you should swap to poison in my opinion and if it's a guy that has a lot of dot damage you should swap to this and if you properly want to go full fight mode you should also swap to this but at the same time do not forget this is not a fair fighting set it's barely a fighting set actually it's just a rat set that's the main purpose of this set if you want to use it to fight i would swap so many things i would swap this with fin cow i would swap this with cleric robe i would swap this with royal sandals i would swap this with a uh, mui sack there's so many swaps that is just basically changing the whole build and i would swap this with that for Kate. so yeah don't focus on fighting focus on rat and if you're wondering how much can you make as a rat well 
see for yourself guys see for yourself in this video basically i managed to make like let me think 500k while ratting while having fun ratting like i like that i like that this guy actually wants to fight I mean, he did use his Wanderlust, to be honest. <laughs> and to be fair, I'm not really having the most damage right now. Nice. Nice fight. Oh, 100k. Man, if I knew you had 100k, I would have killed you way before. I want those guys to fight each other. Nice. They fight each other. I dismount. Just like a rat. I wait for it. Just like a rat. And then I kill kill. Nice, nice, nice. Run, man. Run, man. Nice! Nice boys, nice! Bopped! Now get away! Nice, thank you! Thank you for the boost! Let me kill you! What do you, what do you think you're gonna do here, man? What do you think you're gonna do here, man? Just come here! No, no, just come here! Come on, where are you? Where you at, boy? Where you at? Who you wanna fight? You wanna fight? Pitched voice mog? You don't want to fight pitched voice mog. Come here. Get over here. Do you think that's how it's going to work, my friend? Do you think that's how it's going to work, my friend? Now you're running. But why? Why are you running? Oh, come on. Nice. Now he's in combat. Come on. He's in combat, though. He 12 HP. Look at this, dude. Nice. Who are you trying to fight, my dude? Who are you trying to fight? You trying to fight Papa Mog? Papa Mog is non-fightable, my friend. Watch us play live on twitch.tv slash Mogdan. This video was made possible by our amazing channel members. If you want to support by becoming a channel member yourself, you are going to get access to amazing emotes that you can use in the comment section or during live streams, member-only polls, and lots of other awesome perks. Shout out to all of you awesome badasses. Thank you so much for supporting us.